This is every Yoru tech in Valorant, and they get smarter as we go. Number 12 will trick entire teams. This tech I like to call the clone flash. So sometimes the enemy can get a little bit smart whenever you clone and not shoot it the first time, right? It's not that convincing, especially if you do it routinely. So what you can do instead is combine a flash with your clone and that way it makes it seem like you're the one that's actually trying to push and it makes it a lot more convincing that can set you up for a free kill. This was flash. Perfect. This next tech is called dry TPing, and essentially what you do is you TP on an enemy whenever they're occupied with ultimate or drone or a dog. See, I can bail out the get goals here, TP last second, and then get a free kill on him while he was occupied in his ultimate. Pay attention to who's on the enemy team and what utility you can use this against. Do you want more? Here's more. Oh, that was just... Yo, you're insane. Oh <laughs> Yo, God. thanks, bro. Yo. <laughs> this next tech is called the wall pop flash. And essentially what you want to do is hide the travel time as much as possible with the flash on the wall here. But what makes this play so good is not only are you perfectly pixel flashing the enemy, but the flash is bouncing behind you. So it micro flashes you, but full flashes the enemy and sets you up for a really nice kill. Cutting through. Enemy B. Yeah. Just oh like that. God. Another flash tech is the pop flashing out of smokes. So whenever you are flashing out of smokes, all of this area will completely hide the travel time of your flash. And so what you want to do is look down directly at the ground and then throw the flash and peek with it. And it'll perfectly pixel flash everybody looking towards the smoke. Last player standing. I love my team. This next tech is called the one-way flash. Now, there are thousands of one-way flashes with Yoru, but just to demonstrate it to you exactly what it is, let's say there's an enemy here and you want to flash this space here. You can bounce a flash off of a wall and have it pop to where it's not within line of sight of you, but it is within line of sight of the enemy. And that looks something like this. You see the fade got flashed, but not me. Now, if the one-way flash doesn't hide the travel time that well, you can actually peek a little bit early with it, so you're peeking right as it pops to make the kills even easier. Okay, that's one, three, two, one. Wait, elbow. One enemy remaining. This next tech will get you a lot more kills when coming out of your ultimate. So what you want to do is ult like usual, find an enemy, but then you want to set up a good fake TP spot. So let's pretend that this play is playing out here like this. And then whenever you un ult, you want to fake your TP, but you can also combine it with a flash to make it seem like you really took it. And that will make your fake TP a lot more convincing and set you up for free kills. I'll handle this. Or works better if somebody's isolated, I should say. Way. So let's see if we can find somebody here. We got Reyna. Okay, nice. I'm fake teleport. Oh my god, I mean that's just textbook. That is exactly how you do that play. This next tech is called the fake flash. So usually with Yoro, whenever you go for a flash, the enemy is typically assumes you're pushing from where your flash was, right? So what you can do instead to fake your positioning is you can flash towards a different side of the map to make the enemy think that you're pushing from there and instead you're pushing the opposite side and it can set you up for a lot of free kills. Spike planted. you clutch bro oh my god this next tech is called the running ground flash essentially what you want to do is let's say you know an enemy is being made here you want to run and throw your flash around the corner of this wall here to where it's popping just out of line of sights from you but the enemy can still see it and that looks something like this i'll handle this cutting through probably yeah it's an a hit Definitely an eight. Oh my god. I'm back. One enemy 
No, dude, that would have been so quick. The next tech I want to go over is the flash TP combo, the advanced way. And I say the advanced way because this is takes a bit more steps to it, but it's a lot more effective. So let's say you know that there's an enemy backside here playing there, and you want to flash TP them, right? You would send your TP onto site and then aim your flash to hit them, but you want to look the opposite way of where your flash is coming. So whenever you TP with Yoru, whatever direction you're facing as you TP will be the direction you're facing when you come out of it. So knowing that, if I look to the right as I TP, I'll be coming out of it facing right. So if, if an enemy is to the left here, backside there, I can send my TP to the right side, and then I can go for a great one-way flash or just a, a great pixel flash on them. Look to the right as I TP, full flash them, micro flash me, and set myself up for a much easier kill. This is like the bread and butter Yoru combo. You absolutely need to learn this if you want to master Yoru. That was both flashes, right? Yeah, those are, those are both flashes. They have an op. I got tethered. Me and Brim are tethered. I don't think they know though. Waiting for the smoke to pick. Tethered on site. Tethered on site. Spike down A. Wait, there's, yeah, there's three here. This next flash tech I call the box flash, and my favorite example of it is on Haven right here. So let's say the enemy is pushing out a main, and you want to go for a perfect pixel flash on them. You can actually look at any box that is here. This box is a better demonstration of it. So you see how this box is two boxes high, so you have one box here, two boxes here. Well, if you look directly at the ground, Yarwood's flash pops perfectly above this exact range here. So you can abuse that anywhere on any map that has that same distance. So let's say enemies are pushing out of Haven uh, Seaside here like this. I can actually throw my flash on the ground like this and peek with it, getting the perfect flash off on everybody pushing onto site. I also want to point out here that everything you are learning in this video is only like 10% of what I teach in my Yoru Master class. So if you're interested in becoming a Yoru Master and want to hit Immortal as fast as possible with this character, click the link down below in the description. It's 50% off right now, and there's tons of students in it seeing amazing success. I'll see you there. Dead. My ult's ready. Remaining. This next tech is called the Hinsabi clone or the head glitch clone, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it the Hinsabi clone. But essentially, you're anchoring your clone down and activating it against the surface to where it's stuck still as if it's like a real player holding an angle. So if you see somebody's like coming in hookah and they swung, they would think that's actually me. Or same thing if they were peeking long and they swung, they would think that was actually me. So what you want to do is, is set up these clones in these spots. Decoy. So you're playing long here, and then once you hear them start to run up, you can activate it. And then as they're pushing it, they'll swing it, they'll think it's you, and then they'll shoot it. And then you swing for the free kill. And Sabi, I'm gonna make you proud. Enemy spotted Yes, witty! The next tech I want to go over is picking up guns while you're in Yoro Ultimate. I get so many comments on every single video I post about how to do this. So essentially, if you have a gun in your hand that's empty or you want to pick up a different gun that's better than the current gun you're holding, you can press 1 and G at the same time to drop your current weapon and then pick up a different weapon while you're in your ultimate. And you can also pick up the spike while you're in your ultimate. I'm back. Nice. Yeah, well. I'll handle this. Unknown. I got the spike. You can tap in TPC. Where are the guns at? Nah, that's it. Cutting through. I'm back. Nowhere to yeah. run! Oh. That's insane. This next tech is one of my favorite techs in the game, and it's super big brain. But jump. essentially, you want to set a TP towards B to catch up with your team actually hitting B site, right? So the play is to actually hit B site here, but you want to fake A site. So how can we do that? Now, with Yoru, because he can TP across the map, right when the wall barriers drop, or just whenever you can at the beginning of the round, you want to drop the spike. Spike drop within range of where the enemy will definitely hear it from. I so if I drop spike. the spike here, I know for sure 
that everybody playing a sites will hear me drop the spike and they'll think and I come to the their spike. team spike is a spike is a spike is a spike is a and they'll think it's an a hit and that will get all of the b players to start rotating towards a because they know the spike is over there and you can also combine this with like a clone or like a flash maybe have, even have like a, a your controller smoke for you to really sell it right and then drop the spike they definitely think it's an a hit and then the in reality you're gonna yeah. tp catch up with your team and take all of b sites for free I got the spike. Spike, spike. spike. I got the spike. Spike, spike dropped. Okay, they're they're gonna spike. think they're gonna think it's an AH because they hit the spike. Yeah. Wait, that was perfect. We we got all the B rotations out. There might be like one player here. Clear yellow. Yeah. Dude, perfect. We got B for free. One enemy Over remaining. Here. Yes, bro, Red, that entire site was free. The next tech I want to cover is the Yoro Updraft. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this or struggle with this. So the first version is the easy version of it. Now, for the easy version, all you have to do is look for a box or a ledge that is one box high here. So as you can see, here's a single box here, and it's just one more box to get to the top of this ledge here. You activate your clone. You stand inside of it, you jump and right click it on top of the ledge, and you're set up for a nice kill here. I use this Haven example a lot because it's the easiest, but remember, you can do this on any map, so get creative with it. Let's go. Nice, let's go. And for the advanced version, it, now this one takes a bit more practice. You're definitely gonna have to do it in a custom a couple times, but you wanna jump and anchor your clone by right clicking on top of a box here and have it face whatever direction you're jumping from. So if I'm jumping to do the updraft from this spot here, I want the clone to be anchored facing more to the left. Decoy. So it actually comes towards me. Then you wanna get in this corner here like this, jump about one step to the left. You can kind of see the distance here. here. It's like roughly, here maybe like two meters or so. You, you can kind of get a feel for it the more you do it. And then you activate your clone and then jump oh, right sure. as it's falling off of the box here to right click on top of the box and yeah. TP and you're set up for a free kill. Decoy. Every time. Ouch. Hi, one is seven, one is seven. There's a, there's a gap in the, in the, in the wall. You can rotate, you can rotate, you can rotate. Removed. Careful heaven. One enemy remaining. This next deck is a bit more gimmicky, but it works really well if the enemy has low economy and they have weak guns. But essentially what you want to do is buy a shorty or a gun that you can get a kill with after they pick up your gun. You want to empty all of the bullets in your gun. And then you want to ult the enemy. I'll handle and this, drop your I'll gun finish. that has empty bullets in front of them. And because they have a worse gun, like the Stinger right here, they'll pick up thinking that they have a better gun now, and you pull out, they have no weapon to shoot you with, or no ammo to shoot you with, and you get a free kill. Holy, bro. <laughs> Wait, uh, since you're going to do you want to take bomb so I can stay in it? I'm dropping an Odin to someone with zero bullets. Wait, they're going to force Odin. Right, uh, nothing flower. I don't see anything. So oh, elbow, elbow. Nice seven, nice seven. Oh my god, it worked. I'm home ahead of I'm on. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.